crap, that's the other four Ninja Turtles. Hey guys, Mandrew again, your favorite Canadian YouTuber. Hey, yeah. so I'd like to share with you guys. First, here's some drawings I came out with. Some drawings I, I uh, made based on FNAF. Before you ask, yes, I've seen the new 5 Minutes of Freddy's 4 teaser trailer. Man, I thought Springtrap was messed up. Now, because I haven't seen uh, this new uh, Freaky Freddy uh, full body yet, I, haven't, I can't make a plush toy of him yet. You know what I think? I think that actually might be Fredbear. I've seen quite a few uh, theory videos so far. Like he has four fingers and stuff. Alright, you know in that you know that old mini game uh, where uh where you see uh any of the uh spring trap yellow bonnie next to this golden Fredbear? I think ain't that that uh that Fredbear right beside Spring Bonnie might be uh might might be this guy we saw in the teaser. Him and Spring Ink Trap might just be the two guys who started it all. Like, yeah, think about it. Alright, now first, let me show you this thing I drew. The Bite of 87. Perhaps if I do it from another angle, or should I say another mangle? Never mind. <laughs> cool, huh? And now, let me introduce you to the guys behind everything in the FNAF backstory. Charles Cooper, a.k.a. The Purple Man. I drew this myself. Security? Look. Perhaps if I show him from the side, or just in front of the light. Cool, huh? This is what I believe the purple man actually looks like. He's not as creepy as he seems in other pictures I've seen, and he's definitely not a pedo. He was. Just like in P, the hamster's very true uh, original lure. Mind uh, the true backstory and Tale of Five Kids are the only are the only ones of of uh, P, the hamster's lures that are true, except for the bite part. Yep, Charles Cooper, a purple man, 23 year old college student, murdered the kids because they broke the robots he built to save restaurants' popularity, and he would get college education in return. And he needs spare parts for his deadline. So, he killed them, cut off their parts, and used them to replace the robot limbs the kids broke off the robots. Mm. Now, next, there's a s something else I'd like to show you. You probably, you know, a lot of you have probably heard about this thing on YouTube called Death Battle, right? You know, like, yeah, I'm sure you heard of it. If you ask me so far, my favorite episode might be either Robocop vs. Terminator or Dr. Eggman vs. Dr. Wily. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a couple of my best death battle ideas so far. Godzilla vs. The Incredible Hulk. Sorry if it's too much light or otherwise. Too much light, too much darkness. I don't know what. For some reason, I. I'm not sure if you can see the photo very clearly or not. As you can see, Godzilla's there. Last thing is nuclear radiation. And Hulk is there standing on top of a building. And for my other greatest death battle idea. Two legendary dragons that I'm sure you've all heard of. Spyro versus Toothless. Uh, 
I drew these by myself. Hmm. So yeah. Who do you who do you think would win? Godzilla or the Hulk? I'm placing my bets on the Hulk. Now, both these guys are powered by nuclear radiation, and they both have very complex healing abilities. But, guess me, I think Godzilla just might have met his match. Some say he's unbeatable. This time I beg to differ. Here's how I imagine the battle would go. So, first, Godzilla would attempt to blast the Hulk with his nuclear radiation fire breath. But the Hulk can absorb large amounts of nuclear radiation, so that makes Godzilla's attacks rendered useless. Then, then Godzilla would probably try to step on the Hulk. Hulk would just grab hold of his foot and flip Godzilla over. Then, when Godzilla is down, Hulk would probably grab him by the tail and swing him around a 360 spin style. Kind of like uh, Mario swung around Bowser in the Mario 64 game. You get what I mean. Then he'd throw him into a bunch of buildings. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. He could just eat the Hulk. But remember, the madder the Hulk gets, the stronger he gets. If he tried to bite down the Hulk, he wouldn't be able to. With Hulk's unlimited strength, he could he could keep he could keep Godzilla's jaw wedged open for as long as he wants. Until Godzilla gives in. Like, Godzilla weighs approximately uh, 60,000 tons. The Hulk can, weigh over, can uh, lift over 100,000 tons to a limitless amount. His strength is unlimited. Hmm. Now, I know both Godzilla and the Hulk can heal very fast, very well, kind of like Wolverine, more or less. But, but if and the Hulk sees the opportunity to grab hold of Godzilla's head and rip it right off. I doubt Godzilla could heal from that. And that's enough of that. Now, now for Spa vs. Toothless. Oh, that's a pretty tough choice, huh? Imagine these two legendary dragons one on one against each other. Who do you think would win? Legendary Spyro the Dragon or Toothless the Night Fairy? Now, just to make this spell more fair, they might want to give Toothless the the uh, other half of his tail in the battle. That way, you won't have to rely on Hiccup to uh to uh, help him fly the whole time. Besides, yeah, plus uh, if Toothless loses, so will Hiccup. They both die. I doubt either of them will want that. I doubt Toothless will want in the dive, but I'll, I think he'll want both him and Hiccup to dive even more. Or I don't. I mean, he'd want him and Hiccup to dive together even less. You get what I'm saying. Hmm. Yeah, I think... Yeah. I think... Yeah, I think Toothless may hold the speed advantage. And... And, well, Spiral may hold the advantage of firepower. Toothless may be approximately bigger. Spiral may be tougher. Toothless with those rapid firing plasma blasts, which can explode in, into like a. into like big fiery explosions or something. And, uh. You know, these dragons, if there's one thing I have in common, they've both taken down owned, an, an oversized, supremely dominant. Dragon Lord thing. Spyro took down the all powerful eternal evil dragon, Malfor. And Toothless took down the big ice spitter, like the king of the dragons, with, you know, the, with the big mammoth tusks with, that breathes ice. When Toothless reached his full power, like his whole body was glowing, he took down um, the big ice dragon himself. These are some pretty tough flying reptiles. I can't tell who would win. Like, uh... If you ask me, Spiral may have more attacks to choose from. Like, if you were combined the uh, original Spiral games with the Skylander games into one, Spiral would have so many attacks, more you can count. While Toothless's main attack might maybe the Plasma Blast. Just but I got a feeling he can charge it up to release a bigger plasma bass, just like uh, 
Spyro can charge up his fire attack to release the Daybringer Flame. Honestly, I don't know. Who do you think would win? Well, I think that's all I have for you for now, so... Oh, and uh, here's a shout-out to Canadian Portal Master, eh? Alright. Mm, Alright, I think that's it for now. Oh, and I hope you enjoyed my Freddy series. Now, when Five Nights at Freddy's 4 comes out, I'm not sure if I'll be able to make a sequel, prequel, or otherwise that involves the new Freaky Freddy, whatever it's called. Spring Freddy, Fredbear, or uh, maybe even Nightmare. Point to that uh, hidden Easter egg. Whatever his name is, the the Freddy thing. I'm just gonna call him Freaky Freddy. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do something with him once the game comes out, but the game's not coming out till October. Eesh. Unless I'm into something else by then, I just might wear the uh, Springtrap costume on Halloween the day the game comes out. Well, gotta go now. I'll we'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, and P.S. If you're wondering who else I think should be in a death battle, you're looking at him. That's right, a Bobo. I'm not kidding when I say he's a super bad arse. Like, uh, like Big and Bad and Double Dragon, and he's the real Apex fighter and the ultimate tribute to the NES. Mostly, he's spread a, a lot of blood and gore everywhere, and, and, honestly, I'm not sure who could possibly be a match for him. I mean, uh, he's fought, uh, a, a giant shark with a laser attached to his head, a big magical old wizard, like a, a like a thousand foot Kirby, uh, Big Mac, and even a robotic imitation of himself. Which then uh, grew into something bigger, and so much more. It's like I, I don't know who could uh, be a match for him, with some similarities to him. You guys, let me know if you come up with someone. I'd like to see a Bobo and Death Battle. If you have if someone you think me a good match for him, please let me know.